have to inform the coroner's office and the police. So don't move him. Right, sir. The plan be here in a couple of minutes, sir. Right. Now, how did it happen? Well? Well, I, I was just fooling and it went off. Is your rifle, Brady? Yes, sir. Why was it loaded, Brady? I don't know, Sergeant. I, I thought it was empty. You didn't check it to see it was safe? Excuse me, Sergeant. I've been checked at the loading bay. Who was in charge there? Sergeant Miller. He was with us all day, too. Carry on. Well, Tom? Well, sir, it seems that Brady and Lewis were fooling around. It, it was an accident, sir. Lewis was a mate of mine. I, I... Pull yourself together, Brady. Were you alone with Lewis? No, sir. Hinch and Thompson were here. Well, did Brady say, sir, an accident? That's true, sir. Were you fooling about with live ammunition? No, sir. We'd, we'd handed it all back. Well, how did a live round come to be in your rifle? Had you checked it? No, sir. Oh, for God's sake. Excuse me, sir. Sergeant Miller checked our rifles. Then we cleaned them and checked them when we got back here. Have you all cleaned your rifles? Well? No, sir, I, I didn't. <coughs> Sergeant Gates, I'm off to see the adjutant. Have Sergeant Miller and these three men standing by. Right, sir. And you, sort yourself out, Brady. What's the matter with you, Bob? Didn't any of your training sink in? Right, come and get your ammunition. I'd just like to say a few words before we start stirring. Okay. This stirring practice will be the last opportunity that you will have for using live ammunition before we move. Make sure your weapon handling is correct, and for heaven's sake, remember these safety precautions. We don't want any mistakes. Remember, the next opportunity that you'll have for using live ammunition will be under stress. So think. Don't panic. Right, any questions? Will we do any training under the same sort of conditions that we might find abroad? We'll try to simulate the same sort of conditions, yes. Will tomorrow's night's exercise be realistic, sir? As far as possible. Uh, any more questions? Right, that's all, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Any more ammunition? Yes, sir. Right, uh, cover up your targets. Remember the load. Remember to check your safety catch. Magazine of five rounds. 
Line position. Out. Ready. Test and adjust your position. Anyone not ready? Five rounds grouping in your own time. Carry on. Anyone not finished? Hello. Well, let's see if we can always be this good. If we're not, someone's going to get hurt. Everyone got their blank ammunition. Okay, jump up now. On. You were clearly told to move the safety catch to S, remove the magazine, then cock the weapon! I wondered how long it'd take you lot to get overconfident and sloppy. Fortunately, this time, no one got hurt. Next time, you might not be so lucky. Now, listen to me, all of you. Monday, we're off. We'll be in this sort of situation for real. None of you make-believe, so concentrate. Even the best of us makes mistakes, you know. It's no use us drumming discipline into you if you won't discipline yourselves. We can only do so much. The rest is up to you. And there won't always be someone around to check your every movement, you know. Then you'll have to check for yourselves. So check properly. Check. That's all right. I've just got one more thing to say. From now on, it's going to be live ammunition that you are using, not blank. Your life, my life, our lives could be in your hands. Right, off you go. So what went wrong? Well, I'm not sure, sir. Sam Miller, I want you to go through the events of the day to see if we can find out what went wrong and see where the blame, if any, lies. Yes, sir. We were called out at 1000 hours. <laughs> Things was very quiet for us, sir, and, and then we were ordered back to base. Nope. We'd hardly been back an hour, sir, when we were ordered out again. We were ordered to a trouble area. I gave the order to load. We could hear quite a racket going on about two blocks away. Then suddenly all went quiet. We were ordered back to base. Then I gave the order to unload. Get up, over. This sort of thing went on for most of the day. One minute it was quiet, and the next minute all hell broke loose. We were patrolling a trouble area. I'd given the order to load.